Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create function to add events into your table calendar in Flutter application. If you are new to table calendar in Flutter, you can check out to our table calendar tutorial for beginners. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest AI news and Flutter tutorial. So here I have created a simple table calendar widget which I can select different dates and change display format. In order to add event in the table calendar, firstly we have to create a map that stores the event correspond to that date. So this map variable will have date time as the key and a list of event as the value. Now I will be creating the event class. This event class will responsible to create the event object with a title string only for tutorial purposes, which you can add additional information based on your needs. Next, I will be creating an input action for user to click and input the event name. Here, I will create a floating action button that pops up a dialog whenever on pressed. So in the show dialog function, it takes a builder function parameter and in that builder parameter, I will return an alert dialog widget with some customization. In the alert dialog widget, I will add a text field for the user to input the event name. And in order to get the user input, we have to create a text editing controller and assign that controller into the text field controller parameter. So this is how the alert dialog looks right now with a title, a text field, seems like we are missing a submit button. Let me add it quickly. Now the alert dialog looks complete, but the submit button is not functioning as no event is added in the buttons on press. Since we have not created the add event function yet, I will just add a navigator pop function in the on press. Now let's create the add event function. We just have to store the selected date time and event name into the map variables that we created just now. While for the event object, we will pass in the user input by retrieving from the event controller. So whenever the submit button is pressed, it will now create a new event and store it inside the map variable. Now let's try out in the simulator. So as you can see, when I enter a title and click on submit button, the dialog closed and nothing happens. This is because we have not added display widget to reflect the added event in the UI. So next, I will be creating a simple list view to show added event on the UI. For this tutorial, I will be using value notifier. You can use any reactive state manager as long as it rebuilds the UI on changes. Selected events is a late variable which we should initialize it in the init state. Selected event store a list of event of the day. So in init state, we should have a function to retrieve all events added in that day and store it into the selected event variables. I will call that event as get events for day and it should accept a date time variable to specify which day event it should retrieve. Now let's create the get event for days function. Because this function is assigned to selected events, so this get event for day function should return a list of events. This function will return the list of events that match the date time as key in the map variables. If the date time not found in the key of the event map, it will return an empty list. So this get event for day function is responsible to retrieve all events from the selected day that pass in as the parameter. So at this point, we have created a map that store a list of events correspond to the date time and also a get event for day function 
that retrieve and return a list of events on the specific date time. Now we just have to pass this get event for day function into the event loader parameter of the table calendar widget. At this point, we have completed adding event part. Now I will be creating a simple list view UI to display the event of the selected day below the table calendar. Because I use value listener in this project, so I will wrap the list view with value listenable builder. So it will listen to the selected events variable and whenever this list of events changed, it will rebuild the whole UI. So here I will return listView.builder to build and return dynamic count of widgets that store in the selected events variable. For the listView.builder, I will return a simple container with some customization on the border and color. For the child of the container, I will add a list tile widget to display the event title. At this point, everything should be done. We can now test on the simulator. Seems like there is an exception thrown. Alright, so we forgot to add the item count and also wrap the whole value listenable builder with expanded widget. Now let's hot restart and retry in the simulator. Alright, seems like it's not displaying the event. Let's check on the code. So here is the mistake. When the submit button is clicked, the event is added into the map, but the get event for day function is not executed, so it's not displayed in the list view. Now when we click on the submit button, it should store the event while at the same time get the event for that day and display in the list view. Let's try again in a simulator and hope it works. Alright, now we managed to add an event and display the event with the title below the table calendar. However, when we switch between dates, it's still showing the same event. The reason that this is happening is because the get events for day function is not executed when you select on a different day. So we just have to add the get event for day function to be called when the on day selected function is executed. Now let's try on the simulator and it should work for different date. Now we successfully added an event on 27 of July and when we click back on other dates, the same event don't show anymore. And when we add different event on different date, it store perfectly whenever we switch between the date, it shows the added event. There is also a small dot UI added below the date to indicate that there is an event on that day. So this is how you add events in your Flutter table calendar. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.